Hi everybody, it's Kathy. Right now it's celebration time and I wanted to take a moment to share some projects with you that I've been working on using some designer series paper from Celebration. If you're not familiar with Celebration, it's a promotion that runs during a specific time. Right now it's January through February and it allows you to snag some really awesome products for free with qualifying purchases. You can download the brochure if you didn't get a hard copy um, from my website at kathymyers.stampinup.net. The product I wanted to show you today is the Simply Marvelous 6x6 Designer Series Paper. It's a really fun pack of paper and some really bright and cheerful colors and then a neutral gray as well. You can see I've been playing around with it a lot, but the first uh, pattern is kind of like a marbly look. Like, and then the back side is more, kind of reminds me of paint swirls or something like that. You can see there's some really fun patterns and colors. <clears throat> I wanted to show you how the um, colors coordinate. If you look on the back of our designer series paper packs, it'll tell you the specific coordinating colors, which is really handy when you're trying to design your projects. So let me show you the actual pages, the paper, and the coordinating colors that go along with it. <coughs> Excuse me. This one is Bumblebee and So Saffron. It coordinates with this paper. You can see on this side especially, I really like that combination. And then the next one we have is Blushing Bride, Flirty Flamingo, and Brushing bl Blushing Bride. And again, if you look at the opposite side, they're really pretty. Then we've got Coastal Cabana and Pool Party with this sheet. Isn't that pretty? I really like these colors. And we've got one of my favorites, of course, is the purple shades. So we've got Gorgeous Grape, Highland Heather, which coordinates with this sheet. I just love it. I'm a purple person. I really like that one. Um, the next one is Balmy Blue and Highland Heather. This is Highland Heather, Balmy Blue, and then the coordinating paper. So you can see the possibilities. Um, and the last one is the more neutral color, which has, uh, what is it? Smoky Slate, Basic Gray. So this is the Basic Gray. This is the Smoky Slate. And there's the coordinating sheet. So you can really do some really fun things with these, these papers. So when I was looking at the, the Celebration brochure, <coughs> I thought it would be really fun to try and case some of these projects. Um, if you're not familiar with the term case, it's something that us crafters use a lot. It stands for copy and share everything. So if you wanted to case these, and maybe you don't have the exact products that they used here, but you wanted to do the same card layout. So for instance, looking at this bird card, um, let me show you what I did. This was theirs. Now I took what I had in my stash and <clears throat> I used the layering circles dies because I didn't have that one. This is the many messages dies. This little guy right here was used to make the banner. And then I used hammered metal to give the circle here some texture. And for the bird, I used free as a bird. So this is what I came up with. This was theirs and then this is what I did. Hope you can see that. Okay. Now the next one that I did was this one. 
I really like this the idea of this being water. So I pulled out the uh, stitched with whimsy dies, which is kind of hard to see in a catalog, but it gives you uh, this outline around here. Um, the picture of this dies, which is what does this here. So this die right here, this is one die, and it cuts all those circles at once. And then from a water perspective, I thought it'd be really fun to use the smooth sailing dies and the coordinating stamp set of sailing home. So this is what I came up with. Isn't that fun? Little sailboats. And you can see here that the stitching from the stitch with whimsy. I love that die. It doesn't actually cut anything. It just makes the stitching outline for you. So this was theirs. I cased it and made my own. Of course, I added some, added some Wink of Stella in there, but I really like that. That was a lot of fun. So take a look at your stash and see what you could come up with. This paper is really fun to play with, and then maybe you can pull in your own stamps and dies and have a lot of fun. Um, this here, I got to looking at this, and I thought, well, that would be kind of fun. So I pulled in. Let me pull this out of the way for a minute. I pulled in the artistically inked stamp set and the coordinating artistic dies. So that one maybe be fun to use this die here, this detailed die. But I went ahead and die cut one of those in advance, so it looks like this when it comes out. Isn't that pretty? Very delicate looking. And there's um, the stamp here. So I want to go ahead and use that one. And um, it has a coordinating die as well, so you can cut that out with the die. So I'm going to go ahead and stamp one of these for you. Show you what it looks like. Of course, I'm going to use my favorite color, Highland Heather. And let me move this up. Put this aside so I don't ruin that because I'm going to use that in a minute. Make sure you get a good coverage on the stamp. Kind of flip it over. It's got like a texture to pander to the stamp itself. Okay. Go ahead and stamp that. Isn't that pretty? I don't have the other one handy, but um, through the magic of video, I have one that I've already completed. My, the center is done. I meant to grab that ink, but I don't have it handy. Um, I just used this piece here and stamped it in the center to give the center some color with uh, so saffron, I believe I used. So, in order to recreate, remember I'm looking at casing this card here. So I want to pull in. I'll put this away because I'm not going to use that again. Um, the coordinating card stuff. So this is Highland Heather. And I want to use this background. And then this is a piece of the Corning Heather, Highland Heather um, DSP. So I'm going to go ahead and put that down there. Oops. Let's grab our stamp and seal. And put this in place first. And I pulled in a different ribbon as well because I wanted to give it a little bit more pizzazz than just plain white. I got that. Now I'm going to use this ribbon here. So this is a really pretty ribbon. It's a gingham ribbon. It's a black and white gingham ribbon. And I think I'm, what I'm going to do is just put it strip across here. I'm not going to tie any bows or anything. I'm just going to make a strip. I'm going to cut a piece of that off. I'm going to leave a little bit of an overhang because I'm going to wrap it around the back. Okay. <clears throat> I'm just put a little bit of adhesive here to tack it down to. And I'm going to put 
put this here right along the edge there so it kind of hides that seam between the two. Flip it over. Tack it down where we have to put the adhesive. Make sure that it's lining up the way you want it. And then wrap the other side around. Okay. Now, you could put this up on the dimensionals, but I don't think I'm going to because I'm going to put the flower up on dimensionals instead. And I don't want it to be too... Um, too raised up, so put this down here. Okay. Now I used that stem, but this is bigger than I wanted. So I took this and I cut off a little bit of the top and I turned it into two pieces. And then I'll use this for another card. I'm going to put that down here. So we'll pull in some liquid adhesive and I just want to put a few dots on some of the thicker areas. Yeah, I want to have glue poking all out through our card. I just want to make sure I get some to stick it down on there. Okay. I'm going to put this down. Actually, you know what? I think I'm going to tuck it underneath instead of over top. I'll stick that down. I'm not going to worry too much about all of that. I'm going to take this guy here and use the dimensionals. And by the way, make sure you're using all your dimensionals. All around the edges here, just take your scissors and snip that, and then you can use those for your projects. Like I've done here, so I put it up on dimensionals and put those back in the door. I really like this artistically inked flower, it was so cute. I'm just gonna stick him over top of that. Just like that. Now for the greeting, let's see, pull this original one back in. So they used this greeting here. Um, I decided I wanted to go something along the bottom. So I stamped and embossed this with black embossing powder. I'm going to put him down along the bottom here. But I wanted to give it more of a rounded edge. To the, I didn't want it to be quite so squared. I wanted a little more rounded edge. So I'm going to pull in this Label Me Fancy Punch. And I just want to use this curved part here. I'm going to flip it over. It's kind of hard to do this left-handed. So and I just want to take the end and put the end in here. Kind of put it in the center. Punch that. So now I've got a nice curved look to my greeting. It's not so squared off, right? I'm going to do the same thing with the other side. And center it and again punch it up okay now I'm gonna put that down there and I think I'm gonna put that up on dimensionals as well <clears throat> so I'm gonna pull in some more dimensionals I love dimensionals I go through them so much fill this off fill this off and then we're going to put him down here. There we go. Now I'm going to finish him off a little more by adding some bling. I just, you got to have bling, right? So I'm going to pull in the matte black dots. And their original didn't really have anything like that. They just used the ribbon. But I'm making this my own, right? So I'm going to go ahead and pull in some of the matte black dots. And I'm just going to take these. Let's see. Just kind of scatter them. Maybe put a bigger one down below. And there you have it. That is done. <laughs> I really like that. That's cute. Now, I would then take the other half. Remember I cut this... Uh, 
this piece off, right? So I would take that. I'm not going to glue this one together because it's just the same card, but if we did the same thing, I would put this down here. And then this is the gorgeous grape version of that flower. And same thing. So you'd have that, right? Now, I took it, let me slide this over, and made a card with some of the other colors. So, I have the exact same card using the coordinating colors. This one is Pool Party. And that one's Coastal Cabana. Bumblebee. So Saffron. Flurry Flamingo. And Blushing Bride. Isn't that cute? So that's an easy way to case something. Make it your own, but take that design and take what you've got on hand. Um, when I did all these cards, and when I cut this card, this paper up, I ended up with some strips left over. And I thought, well, why not use that for something? So I took this is um, the thick whisper white, or not whisper white, basic white, thick basic white. And I put, um, I took a strip of the paper and a coordinating strip of the cardstock. So this again, this is um, Coastal Cabana. I think I'm gonna use And I'm going to put a coordinating designer series paper on there. And you could put this up on dimensionals, but I don't think I'm going to. So I think I'm going to keep these cards really simple. And put a little bit of adhesive. And just center it on here. Okay. And then I stamped in advance, I stamped um, a sentiment. This is coming from the same set I just used, Artistically Inked, Hello. And then I used the, um, the double oval punch to create the layers. I'm going to adhere this down flat and put it in the center. And you know what? I kind of like it just like that. If you wanted to, you could spruce it up with some ribbon or some more matte black dots or some other coordinating embellishment, but I'll leave it like that. And then I again made some in the matching colors. So this is the blue version, the gray, Furry Flamingo, uh, Island Other, and Bumblebee. So again, put those scraps to use. It's a really easy thing to do. You can come up with a matching set of um, note cards or whatever, whatever you want to do. I hope you found this helpful. Um, celebration, again, is going on through the end of the month. And if you really liked this paper, you'll want to grab that before it's gone. Um, I did have this host code. I have a monthly host code. If you use the monthly host code with any orders less than 150 I will send you a special thank you gift in the mail. Um, if your orders are over 150 do not use my monthly host code because you will automatically get Stampin' Rewards. But I just I ask you to use the host code for those smaller orders so that I can make sure that I'm taking care of you and giving you an extra special perk that's just from me to you.